Hello, and I'm going to teach you guys how to play a didgeridoo. This is my didgeridoo. I got it from a town called Byron Bay in Australia on the eastern coast, and it's more of a deep uh, sounding didgeridoo. It's very awesome. I've had it for about seven or eight years, and you can tell I need to probably replace the uh, beeswax on it, but it's a piece of eucalyptus. Uh, well, it doesn't really show in there. It's been eaten out by termites. So it makes a specific sound. <clears throat> now, when you play the didgeridoo, you don't blow into it like, I don't know, I'm not sure of the exact analogy, but you blow into it like this, rather than just going, because that doesn't do anything. Even though you can make the noise like, but that doesn't sound uh, quite right. So anyway, what you do <clears throat> is you put it on here, and it's good. When you're playing, you can uh, knead the... Uh, beeswax a little to loosen it up it plays a little bit better and it creates a seal around your mouth but here's what it sounds like when you go <laughs> and you can also do a different tone which I use more in my throat when you go like this and it sounds like Awesome. But anyway, so there's other animals, other animal sounds you can do with a didgeridoo that I think are pretty cool that you can start to put together these different patterns and make a long song. And the, the circular breathing is also very helpful in playing this. And uh, I'll probably say something about that in another video because that's more of a different approach. It's a little difficult to circular breathe to be able to blow out and in at the same time <coughs> while playing this. But Here's some of the sounds you can make. You can make um, sort of the kangaroo noise where you're like. And there's a kangaroo, and then you have the dingo, which is. And so it sounds like a dog barking, kind of. <clears throat> then you have the magpie, I think it is. There you go. So anyway, then you start putting these basic sounds together from the Australian Outback, and you get uh, small rhythms that form out of it, like this. And that's basically how you play a didgeridoo. <clears throat> you play like this, rather than just blowing into it. Although you can use that sound when you go. It sounds like crap, personally, but it's better. I have to play on the side of my mouth. If I go straight on, I can't play it at all, pretty much. Barely. That's it. Have a good day.